Okay, this time we are going to build dash together. Let's move the control setup to somewhere that has more space first. Pull out a digitized node on and connect to our stick first. In the game that I built before, I want to improve one of the functions. Dash command is double tap forward or backward within a short period of time. While the player moves forward, the player still can input the second forward to trigger dash. This is what I want to improve and will apply in the following setup. First of all, I split the forward and backward input by a map node on. For the forward, input and output range set 0 to 1, enable range restriction. Backward is about the same, but input and out range set to minus 1 to 0, enable range restriction also. Pull out a counter. Set mode to range, count range 0 to 2, count timing on change from 0 inches. Then pull out knot. and connect it by end. Create a flag here. Create another counter, but connect to countdown input. Set starting value to 15 and select mode to range. Then connect to knot this not connect to reset of these two counters and flag. Okay, let me explain what it does here. When the player moves forward, it will add 1 to the first counter. Then while the stick moves back to 0, not nodon will return 1. And nodon will check if the previous input is forward and return to center. If it is true, then the timer of the next forward will start, which is the second counter. You have 15 frames to input the next forward command. If it fails, the counter will be zero. Not Nodon will reset these two counters in the flag. If successful, the first counter will be two. Next step to check if the value is equal to two. If yes, it will trigger the flag. Set a timer for the dash duration. The first one set 0.3, and the second one set 0.1. Which means, the dash duration is 0.3 second. Then turn off the flag in 0.1 second. I put 0.1 here because I let players dash rapidly. Connect the map and the done. Set output range 0 to 3. This is the value of dash speed. So the forward dash is 3, and lasts 0.3 second. We also have to set up if there is no dash on forward. Connect the knot to the flag. And then multiply the forward value. Add this output with the dash value. We are roughly done with the forward dash now. Copy this part for the backward dash. Still remember I split the backward here? Since backward is minus 1, but the setup is positive 1. So I use inversion to change it to positive first. Everything remains unchanged, and invert it back to negative at the end of the dash setup. We also have to set up no dash backwards. So the multiply in here connect to the original input instead of the inversion. Add this backward value and forward value and connect it back to the person.
Since number node on cannot display a decimal place, I use map node on to multiply 10 and witness the dash value from wormhole A. The walk speed shows 10 here means the value is 1. While dash, it shows 30 means the value is 3. Let's tweak more advance on dash. In the game I created before, moving forward is 1, backward is 0.7. When dash, forward is 3, backward is 3 multiply 0.7, which is 2.1. It also works the same on the other side. Let me put a wormhole L for the switch side that I made in the last video. When L equals 0, process a map. In this map, output range is set 0.7 to 1. Then multiply to forward. Copy this map. Pull out knot and connect this map. Multiply to backward. Let's take a look. So walk forward is 1, forward dash is 3. Walk backward is 0.7, backward dash is 2.1 now. Try on the opposite side. The result is the same, very good. Now, my character has shifted in Z. I think no one likes to watch 3 minutes to build these invisible walls, right? Let's skip this part. Let's add a smoke effect while triggering dash. Use wormhole Z to send the dash signal to the smoke effect. Check it out. Okay. One more bug that I need to fix. The dash can perform in mid-air. Let's do a height check. Create a wormhole O for the person's y-axis. Check the height value when the person stays on the ground. The ground position is 0.72. Let's process the dash when a person stays lower than 0.8. Okay, the dash setup is done. And it won't dash while jumping now.
But the dash still has one more problem. It can perform a long jump immediately after the dash. I can shut down the up command for a short period of time after dash. But leave it for now, otherwise more Nodon needs to be used. Not a big deal at the moment, and see if I have more room to fix this at the end. Copy this entire setup to player 2 side. Don't forget the smoke setup and Y axis wormhole of player 2. Do a speed check. The speed on player 2 site is inverted, let's fix this. Go to the wormhole L section, change this value to 1. The speed is fixed on player 2 side now. So we are done with this video. Next one, I will start to work on special moves.